Today I'm going to be showing you how to make AdMob app using Sketchway and your Ad Unit ID. So before we go over to the main video, please click the subscribe button. For this tutorial, you're going to need your Sketchway app and your Ad Unit ID. As you can see, I already have mine here. So let's go over to the Sketchway app. Okay. So first thing you're going to do is to create a new project you can use whatever name you want to use so I'm gonna use media tech for my media tech continue so now you go over to this place in components add mob okay sorry you click on add mob services you need to enable this first in order for you to add your banner and interstitial ID so you create banner so I'm gonna use banner banner then i'm going to copy my banner ad my banner id copy i'm going to copy my banner id paste it here paste i'm going to add another one interstitial interstitial so I'll come over to my notepad and copy my interstitial ID and paste it here. Add. So you click next. Now you click edit, select banner, and click interstitial, select interstitial. Then go to next. This test device, do not click test device because if you are going to add test device, means re advert will not display on your app so you are going to skip the test device click next then save now we are done with the add more part so we'll go back to the main app now so you add scroll v the width match appearance then linear v width match appearance so first thing we're going to do we're going to pick add few Add mob banner here one two zero okay let's use only six now we're going to add button button one button two now we're going to add another banner one two three so we'll go over to components click add then you select interstitial so Let's name it um, INT Interstitial 1. Then we create another one INT 2 Interstitial 2. Now you go over to events on create activity. Click here, then select component create okay sorry if you go to view now what I'm looking for here is add view so let's look for add view okay add view move it here one move it here two since we added six adverts six banner ads on our main page we are going to add six add here three four five six now you click this arrow then select begin to name them add v1 add v2 add v3 add v4 add v5 and add v6 now you click back it has saved then you go over to component sorry to views then button one you add the same thing you added in events on create you go to views now look for add views again add view one two three four 
five, six. Now you name them again. Add V one. Add V two. Add V three. Add V four. Add V five. And add V six. Now you go back again. Then button two on click. You're going to add interstitial create interstitial load since we added two components two interstitial components we are going to add two here so you name it interstitial one interstitial one so interstitial two create interstitial two load okay now we are done with everything in Zen. So you go over to component, select the first one. On add load, you show. So, interstitial one, then you go back. Then on add fit to load, you go over to component, add toast. Go over to operator, join in and then you go up, then select so string with that decimal. So remove this one here, the error code, remove it down here. Then what we're about to add is what the app will display if your interstitial adds fit to load. So let's put adds fit to load and you save so I advise you to copy this so that you won't be stressed when you want to do it again because repeat it for the other one so on add load component interstitial to show then you go back then for add fit to load component Select source, go to operator and join in and up then to string with that decimal. Move this error code down. Then, like I said, I'm going to need it here, so you paste it. Then save. This is the message your app is going to display if your interstitial adds fit to load. So you go back. So that is all we need for the app. When it comes to the advert, the interstitial and the banner ad, so you click button one. What I'm going to do, you're going to change the name now. Load interstitial ads. Then, okay, let's change. Let's increase the size, sixteen. Then test type to bold now you click the button one change the name load banner add now so we increase the size and select bold now so the reason for these two buttons is clear you click button one to load banner ads, then click button two to load interstitial ads. So that is all for that. Then you click run. So the app is going to build. Getting ready to build. So let's wait for the app to build first. Compiling. As you can see, these steps are very easy and very, very clear. So while we wait, okay, so let's wait for the app to build. Okay. 
to package installer I want to install the app now need that thing then click install 